Hello everyone, I am Lythus and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing another manga first impressions video this time for the series uh, written by Takaya Kagami and with artwork by Yamato Yamamoto and the storyboards by Daisuke Furuya and that would be the uh, series Seraph of the End Vampire Reign and this series has been adapted into an anime. Uh, it was a split core series when it aired, so there's two 12 episode seasons, and it also has a dub produced by Funimation. But this series is produced or uh, published by Viz Media, as you can see right there, and it is under their Shonen Jump Advanced imprint. And uh, I've read the first four volumes of this series right there. I don't know why I showed three fingers initially, but I've read the first four volumes. And, uh, this, the first four volumes cover the first season of the anime, so if you've seen that, you've read these four volumes. And, uh, I thought it was, it's pretty decent, but it isn't something that I'm gonna put a lot of stress on completing quickly. Uh, there are only 12 volumes out right now, I think 13 coming out later this year, but this isn't a phenomenal series in my opinion. If you like vampires though, because there aren't too many of those series out there, um, especially uh, shonen titles, you might want to pick this up. Um, quickly let's go into the artwork. It's pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything, anything fantastic. I mean, although that scene does look pretty nice, but it isn't anything fabulous. And uh, these volumes also come with these cool little poster things in the front. But, again, this series isn't bad at all. I do plan on picking more of the volumes up. I just don't plan on doing it very quickly. But, uh, if you're into sort of shonen uh, action series, uh, this is one I would recommend. Um, the characters, uh, their personalities don't seem to be too annoying. Um, there's one character that is, uh, the, there's a she's a tsundere and she can get a little bit annoying at times um, and Shinoa on occasion is annoying but for the most part the characters aren't uh, annoying um, it definitely feels like a shonen uh, you can feel feel that just like sort of from the characters motivations the way they talk and how they interact it definitely feels very shonen so if you're gonna pick this up know that it is a very very shonen feeling work um, so, I don't really have much else to say. Um, you know, you can watch the anime adaptations. Uh, I believe, th I know the first season covers the first four, four volumes. I think if you watch both seasons, it'll cover the first eight volumes. Um, maybe watch that first, because I, I think it might be on Crunchyroll or Funimation. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's on Funimation, because they they have the rights to it, but... Yeah, you might want to watch the anime before uh, picking these volumes up, um, just because uh, it's not a standout series. It's just, it's just pretty good. It's decent, but it's nothing amazing in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I would not stress this series very highly, though I don't think it's bad, and I do plan on picking the volumes up at some point. I just don't know when I will get around to doing that. But, uh, yeah, that will do it for this Manga First Impressions video. If you enjoyed, make sure to uh, like and share. And if you'd like to keep up to date with all of my content, you can hit that subscribe button. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I am Lythus. Goodbye.